Right now starts night number three of Western Sprint Tour. Welcome back to today's video. It is a hot one here in Banks, Oregon. We're here at Sunset Speedway, like I said, night number three. We just kind of finished up maintenance about two hours ago and then really we've just been the whole crew. Uh, my crew chief Roger, my parents, I didn't go to sleep but they all took a nap and all. Uh, we're just resting up. We still got two more nights after this and tonight ahead of us. I'm looking forward to it. It's a small track here. I'm gonna go show you guys that here in a little bit. But as you can see, we didn't really clean the car much. Uh, I mean, clean car is not faster than a dirty car, am I right? Uh, we'll wipe it down before we go out one more time. But like I said, did all the maintenance. But uh, now I'll go show you guys Sunset Speedway. Here is a look at the smallest track Western Sprint Tour goes to. They say this place is a quarter mile. I'm not sure about that. Maybe it is. My first thought when I saw this place was it was really cool. The second one was they could have an outlaw car race here possibly. It's a little big. This place kind of reminds me of Cycleland or Delta. Uh, it's going to be probably right around the bottom until the A main. Last year it got up higher towards the middle and it looks like they may have added a little bit of banking. But I mean, this place is really cool. I tend to do better on the short tracks, even maybe even the sprint car will be that way. But in the outlaw car, I've always been better at Red Bluff. Struggle at cycling, have my good and bad nights. But this place is awesome. I think we have about 20 cars tonight. I mean, all 20 cars, heck. When the leaders are taking the green, the back of the pack is still gonna be back here because this place is just so small. So lap traffic gonna be key tonight. Looks like they just watered it and they're rolling it in. Like I said though, very, very excited to get out here. I don't even think we'll be really past half throttle because it's just so small. And once it gets slick, you're really gonna wanna keep the tires under you. We have about 20 minutes until pit meeting starts. I'm pretty sure the line for tonight is just gonna be to keep your left front right on those tires. Like I said, not much past half throttle. And really the only way to pass is I guess you can try to move someone. I'm not gonna do that because I don't have much experience doing that in the sprint car. But if someone maybe pushes tight through the center of the corner, you're just gonna have to push your nose in there and hope you can get that spot. All right, so we just did hot laps and oh my, like I said, this place is small. It's even smaller when you get out there in the car. First off, the red dirt, it's getting us. The car's really muddy, they watered it a lot, but it's slicking off real quick, quick. In hot laps, I spun out off of two. Oh my, dude, it's so weird. It's like running a, I don't even know an outlaw cart track to compare it to because it's so small. In qualifying, I'm just gonna try to go slow, like slow, slow, slow. And I think that's actually gonna be faster. We'll have to see. Uh, the third group of hot laps just finished up. Qualifying's coming up soon. Honestly, just roll, 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 and then roll more and get off the gas even more. Yeah. Oh, this place is so much different, but I think it's gonna be a fun race tonight. Let's head out for qualifying. qualifying at Banks is over. We went out pretty late. I think it would have been a little bit better if we went out earlier, but we still ended up eighth out of, I believe, 20 cars. Car was awesome. We were really, really fast, but like I said, it's a lot of just pedaling. You get in, you lift a lot, use the brake to turn a little bit, and slowly get back on the throttle. Bennett, Carly, and I are gonna have some fun tomorrow cleaning all this red clay. Bennett, though, how do we look out there? Felt pretty good. You look smooth, so yeah, it's better in hot laps. Yeah, way better than hot laps. We spun out in hot laps, but uh, it's really, really small. It's just insane. Although I am happy with the car count. We got like 10 or 11 Hornets and two uh, Hornet trucks. So yeah, we'll see so we're gonna have, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I wish I could go show you the track maybe here in a little bit. I'll get the chance. It's gonna be really, really slick. I'm not really gonna be, have a chance of passing cars. Really, it's gonna be all off mistakes, I think. Because a lot of guys, you know, they might overdrive it, they might underdrive it. We'll just have to see. But once we get in the corner, just lift, roll, 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 get the next guy when he makes a mistake. But anyway, I believe we'll probably start second row in our heat race coming up soon. 
So we're heading out for my sprint car heat right now. We are the second one of three. There's 20 cars tonight. I start second row outside. I believe there's seven cars in my heat race. Few, so the guys in front of me qualified slower. The guys behind me are qualified faster. So I think really it's just all about getting to the bottom and waiting for the car in front of me to make a mistake. Usually what happens, I guess, from, from what everyone's been saying, is they go in the first corner and they either spin out or go way high. So just try to keep the rear tires under me, try to roll as long as possible, and we'll see how far we make it. Hopefully if we start fourth, we can get to second. That'd be really good points. But you know, you never know. It's so small. We have, anything can happen. So uh, we're heading out there right now. Let's see if we can have a good finish. So the heat race is over, that went, it was started off good and then it went just south. So this is my Nerf bar afterwards. I don't think it tore up anything else, but. So I started fourth and it's just, there's no way to pass. It was just all the way around the bottom and I started fourth, was running fourth and then a guy spun out and then that's when that happened. And then I restarted in fourth because I think two other guys got collected. So I kind of got my, I didn't get my spot back, but that's just kind of where I ended up because other guys crashed. And I just couldn't get it to turn. These things are so much harder to drive than outlaw carts in the sense of like, if I lifted an outlaw cart, it just rolls, you know? And these things, dude, if you lift, it gets so tight and there's, so I felt like if I just hit a little bit of gas, it was almost spinning the tires too much. And I, so I don't know, I'm just trying to find the medium. So I was out after three laps because I got two spins. I don't know. It's gonna take time, obviously, learning these things, but it's just so tough. Cause like, like I said, I mean, I don't know really what to do because I'm trying to find the medium balance of throttle and no throttle, and it's like that much on the throttle or no throttle at all. So I don't know. We'll see. So it got tight, and then it pushed up, and then it just snapped loose. So we'll see. I think I don't know. We'll probably be sitting probably 14th in points about where we've been the last two nights, and I'll let you guys know. Yeah, hopefully it's gonna be tough in the A main. Hopefully there is a top in two lanes, but it's like the short track racing. So the intermission just started, they're watering the top side. Honestly, I'm just most happy that the sun is going down and I'm actually gonna be able to see the car in front of me going down the back straight away. That was a challenge in the heat race. I've never experienced that before. Like, I, I, that's why when they crashed on there, I could barely even see it. The sun was shining straight in my eyes. But it is real, real slick right now. I mean, honestly, it's just putt-putt right around the bottom. It's insane how slick it's getting. And since it's so small, you're just barely on the throttle. So what happened in the heat race, after I got caught up in that crash, the torsion bar went bad, and so it just messed up everything. It made me push so tight through the corner, and then eventually snapped loose, and I spun out. But he's trying to water to bring some grip back. It's not gonna do anything, really. Probably just blow off by the time the sprint cars go out there. We start 16th in tonight's A main out of 20 cars. If I would, if I could have finished a little bit better in the heat race, we'd be sitting better, but that's just kind of how it's gonna be. Right around the bottom, I need to get straight to the bottom and stay there. The top might come in later as the sun sets, but we'll have to see. A main's coming up soon. I'm gonna watch some of these other classes and see what the track does.
So we're getting ready to head out for the A-Main. Like I said, we start 16th. There's only like five dwarf cars out there right now, so that's gonna go quick. Even our 30 laps out there is gonna go pretty quick, but we'll probably have a lot of yellows. It's gonna be one lane right around the bottom. Might be able to make the top work because they watered it. Let's head out right now, have some fun, stay out of trouble, maybe come out with a top 10 finish. Let's have some fun.
Hey, main event is over. Night number three of Speed Week has ended here at Banks. This track is crazy, honestly. Yeah, need anything? Oh, thank that you. Your Coke? Yeah, that's mine. Second drawer down on the right. All right. Banks is crazy, guys. It is insane. Oh, need it? Okay. Banks is crazy. Uh, the place is so small. It's almost like Red Bluff, but smaller. I would compare it to Wairika Outlaw Carts. Insanely tiny. And it was a dust bowl. Got real slick right after qualifying, and as the night went on, it just got worse and worse. Didn't matter how much water he put on it, it was just getting slicker and slicker. I started 16th, picked up a few cars, and then like on the first start, I started on the outside, and then there was a yellow, and then they crisscrossed me, and I got to start on the inside. And then the next start, I started on the inside again, which was, in my opinion, it was kind of dumb, because I don't know why they kept crisscrossing us. I understand a few people were falling out from yellows, but why didn't our whole road just move up? So I had to start on the bottom. If I would have started on the top, I, the first initial start when I started on the top, I passed like I think two or three cars right off the start. So I wasn't sure why they were doing that, but I mean maybe it's just a rule they have. But after the main event, I was in need of a good Coca-Cola. It was a long one. Oh my. So like I said, started 16th. I think we ended up 14th. Not too bad. I started to pick it up at the end. Now it's time to head on to the next racetrack, Cottage Grove Speedway. So I'll see you guys all there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share. Seems like for Speed Week, we can put together a few good nights. Maybe qualify good, have a bad heat race, or maybe qualify bad and have a good heat race. Now we just need to put it all together. I'll see you guys all next time. Deuces.